Okay, great. Welcome. Uh, we are learning macros and Excel. Um, in this video, we are going to learn the usage of uh, yeah, macros with pivot table to filter the top X number of uh, sales app or states or cities, whatever what you want to see. But that will be a big dynamic using the uh, control tools. Uh, so you can filter the pivot tables dynamically just by scrolling the control uh, the control tools. Okay, first of all, we uh, let's we have this data, and uh, in order we have to convert this data into table shape. So uh, in reality table, we have already done reality table. We will go to the insert tab. In insert tab, we have this uh, table. Uh, sorry, in table, uh, and uh, okay, now our data is in the table shape. Uh, we can rename our table um, when well, if we are in the table uh, you can see this um, the, the uh, uh, tab so in tab there's table design or here we have table name in table name let's suppose we want we say our um, this is our sales data okay this is our table name now create a pivot table in we will go to insert insert in pivot tables and uh, table sales data selected okay new worksheet yes okay and here we have our pivot uh, fields um, let's suppose we want to see the sales amount sales amount by sales app okay and uh, here we have our sales app and uh, let's sort the descending order descending by sum of sales amount okay so here we have the report the sales app and the uh, sales by the sales app now we want let's suppose we want to see only three top sales app two five or any x so in to do this we will go to this filter tab uh, icon and here we have value filter and let's suppose uh, we want to see only top top 10 top 3 top 5 we can increase degrees that's because we want to see only top 2 okay we have this and if you want to see the top 3 we will go again to this filter icon fairly very filter top 10 and top 3 top 5 let's go top 5 okay now we have this but you know it's very uh, very um, um, irritating to go to back to the filter icon and select again and again and again uh, whatever number you want to see so how we can do, do, do this activity a uh, dynamic in the, using the uh, macro okay first of all uh, we uh, what we have to do we have to apply any filter that's because we have cleared now you have to uh, apply any value filter let's suppose top um, top three okay done now we are going to on the macros developer tab record macro and we can name it top x numbers okay uh, we are not going to assign any shortcut key okay now our macro is being recorded so first of all what we will do we will clear this filter okay clear filter from sales okay and then we will apply another filter value filter top six okay and done turn off the macro recording we can uh, click here if we go to the macro uh, top x number edit you will see here is the macro it's saying active sheet pivot table sales app clear r filter and sales app filter and pivot table fee value 6 because first what steps we have done first of all we have we had cleared the filter already applied so this is the our first action in the second action what we have done we we applied the, fil uh, the filter for the value of 6 okay done now let's suppose we want to change it to 7 we want to, it to change it to 8 
if I change this 6 value to 2 and run our macro you will see that now we have the 2 at top 2 uh, top sales rep. if we want to see the um, 4 and run it again ok our macro is working perfectly good now what we have to do instead of uh, replacing the values in this in this macro edit mode we will create a scroll bar here and uh, the scroll bar will change the value of uh, uh, in the macro this 4, 5, 6, 7 ok so to do this we will go to the insert tab here we have the uh, spin button and we have also this scroll bar let's create the scroll bar and this size is sufficient we have this scroll bar uh, we can change it increase decrease you can uh, set adjust it according to your own um, on uh, custom formatting size and whatever the way you like it okay and also nominate a cell to have certain value we will nominate this cell color it and a little bit lighter okay we have any value put in that any value 3 in this cell okay top this top um, sales yeah, okay more and okay so now what we want we want that well whatever value we enter in this cell it will impact our macro and change the value here so we will instead of using this value linked with this cell we will use active sheet dot range one dot value sorry sorry okay and do value of one is equal to active sheet dot range e1 dot value okay now what is this thing this value one is equal to e1 dot value whatever value is is in this cell uh, this this macro will execute accordingly. Now we have entered three. Run this macro. Okay, three. Keep perfectly working fine. If we change this value to five and run it, yes, yes, it's working perfectly good. Okay. Now we will link this scroll bar with this cell as we will change the value from change uh, move the uh, scroll bar our values will be changed accordingly right click format control ok current value is 51 let's change it to uh, 3 ok minimum value is equal to 1 maximum value you want to restrict let's suppose we know that our sales are for only 5 or 6 or 7 um, we can restrict it to 10 ok incremental change 1 which means that one scroll down will equal to one change incremental change okay and cell link we will link link this cell okay and okay now you see that if i scrolling down the values are changing 5 and the maximum is 10 and the minimum is 1 okay so you can change by in this way another thing which what we have to do we have to li link this scroll bar with the macro uh, select this scroll bar assign macro and top x number ok perfect now if i scroll down 4 7 10 or if we go back 1 so this this is the way we can use the macro with the pivot table and the control uh, bars control options form control activex control to 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 execute it accordingly thank you so much